crap, dude. I can get through here. Good morning, everybody. Man, I think I should have checked the tide table today. So clearly we're out on the river in some backwaters and it is tidal. We are at a extremely, extremely low tide, which has made getting back to the water we want to go to very tough. But I think we are just about there and uh, hopefully all this hard work will pay off with some uh, some fish. But really, I want to say this. Today, I really wanted to fish simple, meaning small kayak, one backpack, Full of tackle, water, snacks, etc., and three rods. So we got a punch, of course, which I think will make sense because there's a lot of vegetation back here. We've got a medium heavy. This is a uh, Veritas PLX 7.6 medium heavy, and we've got our jig on there. This will be able to double for us as a you know chatterbait or swim jig. This is rod number two, and rod number three, in case things get tough we got a spinning rod little wacky general right there and green pumpkin watermelon and uh yeah we can throw a drop shot on this too we even got some really small crankbaits that we could throw on this if we wanted to but that's what we're packing today i still got a little more work to get to the spot or the area i want to fish the good news is coming back should be a breeze because i think the tide is going to be coming in all day water will be rising we'll get out of here a lot easier than we came in but that's the video today tiny water small kayak let's see what happens it's gonna be our first rapid. It's a monster rapid. Man, what a rush. Oh. I think it's all clogged up back here. Oh my God, this is not good. I didn't realize there was this much crap back here. It's completely different from the last time we were here. We've come so far though. Oh my God, I just gotta find some open water at this point. Oh my God. Depth. At least there's depth. Oh, that's such a welcome sign. <sighs> what else can you throw in this? I had no clue this was back here. I mean, I knew there was some, but I didn't know it was completely caked over. It's got to clear up at some point. There's current coming through here. Thank you, sir. I knew punching would be a factor, but it might be the only thing we can throw out here. Obviously, I'm not getting a Senko through any of this stuff, and this is pretty pretty fluffy stuff for a frog that first fish feels good though at least uh we know there's fish back here and that wasn't a complete waste of time or effort tree that's not good I thought for sure there'd be one here oh yes I finally see open water thank God oh no that's not good 
that's not good. Oh god. I say hook sets are free, but not true when you get a big old knot and you miss whatever you set the hook on. You know what, we gotta check something, guys. Water's kinda dingy. It's low tide, but I wonder how deep this channel is, really. Get a little deeper, see what we got for depth. Connected. What do we got here? like the middle of this channel right here is about four foot on low tide so when a tide tide I'm gonna double that eight foot right out in the middle some grass yeah, it's definitely shallow here not seeing any bait balls or anything good information to know let's keep plugging along we're not getting back to the launch anytime soon because I literally have to wait till this water <laughs> raises up I'm not treaching through that stuff again at low tide if I can avoid it so we're fishing all day or at least till that water gets high Something else we gotta try. Backpack today. Let's go classic spinnerbait. What do you guys think? Classic spinnerbait? Double willow. Seeing a few bait fish flicker back here. At least we'll be able to cover some water. Looks pretty good, right? Oh man, something came out and wrecked it. Literally, as this bait was falling, something came out and smoked it. I don't know if it was very big, but it's gotta be a good sign, right? A little follow up, General. I can never get follow-up fish. Not many casts with the old spinner bait. Hope the spinner bait bites on, that'd be fun. Dude, I'm getting hit again. I just got hit again. I don't know if they're small fish or what, but come on. Could have been a small one. We think the small one would follow up and eat the, the general. Dude, that's like two bites and Five minutes on spinnerbait. Let's keep going with it. Okay, they are biting the spinnerbait. Woo! That's fun. That one ate it. Dude, choked the spinnerbait. Fish was basically on the fall. Fatty. A little spinner bit love. I dig it. It's hard to pick just three rods for the Delta because they could literally be biting anything. You know, I'd love to have a frog rod and all this other stuff, but I felt like today, like a fall cooler day on the river, punch, finesse, and something to throw a little moving bait would be our best options. It's a giant. Oh my god. No net, of course. Oh my god, it's a giant.
Spider bait bites on. <sighs> as soon as it landed, too. How funny is that? Spinnerbait is a Bobby D spinnerbait right here. It's got the gold and silver willow leaves. Threw a little power swimmer on the back of there. Man. Well, we're spinnerbaiting today. They're biting this thing like as soon as it lands. A fish hit it as soon as it landed. Same thing with the other one. These blades must just flutter and they almost like a spoon. It's like you're spooning shallow in the delta. That's pretty cool. And I think we've got a pattern going here too. They're on this side. I've tried over there, but you can see the currents moving here. No current over here. These fish are just setting up. Had I not brought a spinnerbait, really wouldn't have tried a spinnerbait in this stuff. It, it's coming through. It is coming through. I've never fished a spinnerbait like this before. I haven't fished a spinnerbait hardly ever, to be honest. I'm almost hoping for a reaction bite with this, throwing it in these little pockets, these little holes. I think they'll eat it if they see this flutter by their head. Oh! Dude, fish really crush a spinnerbait when they bite it. It's coming through pretty clean too. Doesn't look like it would, but it, stuff breaks up super easy. So once you get underneath it, spinnerbait actually runs pretty, pretty clean. Dude, that fish has a call tag hole in it. Seriously? Someone brought that to weigh in? <laughs> hey, I can't say much. I probably would if I had to, too. Man, that's a fun bite. I forgot how hard they hit moving baits. Well, guys, I think that's gonna do it for today's uh, day out on the river. The tide is moving up, it's still a little bit low, but it'll be a lot easier to get back, back to the launch. But yeah, just to recap the day, oh my gosh, lesson learned. Look at the tide table next time I come here because that low tide to start, man, oh man, that is the hardest I have worked to get my kayak to a spot. And then when we got to the spot, we actually saw a ton of floating algae or whatever. It was so choked up, I did not expect that. Caught one punching, thought maybe that'll be the deal. Didn't really get anything else punching. We threw the frog a little bit, nothing on the frog. Even threw the Senko. But what we decided to do, and don't ask me why, maybe just because it's fall and we thought a spinnerbait could come into play, we cut off our jig. We put a little Bobby D's spinnerbait on there. It's got a little power swimmer, trailer, double willow leaf, gold and silver blade. Almost immediately we started getting bites on this. It seemed like small fish, but that was definitely a clue in the right direction. And ultimately what happened is we found out that these fish were positioned on one side of the bank. And this stuff right here was floating by, but it's just floating. And once you're underneath it, I could actually work this bait all the way back to the boat without getting hung up really. And I think, Honestly, this stuff gave those fish a little shade and they'd see this bait coming by or flutter down with these blades and they'd smoke it. And that was the unusual thing about today's bite is throwing this stuff in what seemed to be pretty thick stuff, but it really wasn't. It was only on top and working this through there. Something I totally have never done before and I'm lucky I even tried it, but it seemed to work and it produced a, a pretty solid fish for us. Probably one of the bigger fish I've caught on the Delta in a long time. That was today's day. Not the greatest, not the worst. We certainly earned our bites today and yeah, a lot of fun. Again, awesome to have the versatility of different size kayaks, the big Titan and then the smaller Falcon 11 to get into these spaces that I would never be able to get to with, with a bigger kayak. So another fun day out on the river. As always, I wanna thank you guys for coming along, for following the adventure. Check your tide tables before you come out here on the Delta if you're gonna do any dragging. Lesson learned on this end. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video.